pronounce his name. People couldn't pronounce Clemson. There was a P in there. The was there was a Z the in there. The clock was running. We were subject to a 10 second subtraction. Game clock operator. Well, that's it. Georgia Tech wants the 10 second subtraction. Yes. Set the game clock to 33 seconds. It's interesting, Georgia Tech. Start on my signal. Could have used the time. Why would you use a timeout and, and just see what happens on the punt? Why would you take 10 seconds off the clock? Completely agree. Surprised that was the decision there by Jeff Collins. What if you block the punt? What, what if you There's get a, a great return? A lot of scenarios that could play itself out. You'd like to have as much time on the clock as you possibly can. I guess he's saying I'd rather have my timeouts. I, I think he's saying I'd rather just get to to halftime. Can't take him with you. No, you cannot. That's bizarre, guys. But just finishing up on, on the job that Dabo's done, he took over. Tommy Bowden stepped away in the middle of the 2008 season. They were playing Georgia Tech. That was Dabo's first game, and. Early on, it took a couple years. They beat Auburn the year after they won the national championship. That kind of kick-started the program. And you just think they become a, a blue-chip program in, in college football. Now, they had won a national championship before, yep. but it was 1981. They no waste the time there. And now there's no return man back. So hmm, Georgia Tech's going to go after this? No, they're not. But they're just going to let the clock run down here. Goes out of bounds, I think, with a second left. Up oh, the official saying halftime. Clemson will get the ball to start the second half. I'm befuzzled, Dave. Befuddled and puzzled, all in one. Befuzzled. Interesting decision. 